Who are you, Darren Brown? Is all that Darren Brown stuff real? For those not in the know, Darren Brown is a, a, a British, what would you even call him? He's like a magician slash mentalist, but isn't a mentalist somebody who solves crime? Because they had that show on TV called The Mentalist. And then don't even get me started because right after The Mentalist came out, there was a show called The Alienist. And I was like, I like X-Files, I should watch this. And then it's literally just a, it's like a psychiatrist or something like that. There's no aliens in sight. There's nobody going gleep, gloop, gleep, gloop. Anyway, a mentalist. Okay, so he does all these tricks. I remember one of the tricks that he did was um, he did a simultaneous ex exhibition in chess. So he played like 12 grandmasters and one international master or something like that. And he had a winning record. How did he do it? Well, af after, the, after it happened, he revealed that he just remember because you're playing like half as white, half as black, and then there's just one extra table. Um, he remembered the move that the Grand Master played as white, and then when he got around to the other side of the table, he played that move against the table that was on the opposite side. So basically, he was just having them play each other, and then he just beat the last guy, which is enough of a flex on its own. But then some of the Darren Brown stuff is crazy. Like the one where he goes to the horse racing track, and he loses on his bets, but then he goes to the windows and just convinces them to give him the money anyway. They're like, your, your horse didn't win the race. And he's like, ah, yeah, me granddad was always a winner. That's why I came to this window. Like he's like smacking the crap out of the table and stuff like that. And then the lady's just like, okay, here's your money. I'm like, I don't know if that's real, man. I, or if that's like some Chris Angel stuff. I'm not, I'm, I believe in the chess one. Then he had that show that was like, he convinced... Someone to be like a bank robber, like a bunch of people did the bank robbery together. I don't know, man. I'm just saying he couldn't trick me. He couldn't trick me into robbing a bank. Please get rid of the splish splash background. <laughs> Go rob a bank right now. No, you have to say it in a British accent. Go rob a bank right now. Darren Brown's like, do you like lunch? Do you like lunch? Do you like robbing banks? Do you like lunch? Do you like, you want some lunch? You want some lunch? You want some lunch? You want to rob a bank? Do you want some lunch? You want, what's your favorite lunch? I want you to imagine your favorite lunch. Now rob this bank. And everybody's like, okay, give me your money. Wait, what am I doing? Like there's the one with Simon Pegg where he's like, Simon, what do you want for your birthday? And he's like, a cashmere sweater. And then he talks to him for like 15 seconds. And then he's like, Simon, what do you want for your birthday now? And he's like, I want a red BMX bike. And Darren Brown's is, he's like, see, I told you you wanted a BMX bike. And he's like, I don't even know why I want a BMX bike. It's scary. I, I'm just saying, I don't know if it's real.